Good morning, my dear friends from all over the country. Let us begin with this nice word. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, uh, Lila. Good morning, uh, Claire, Uncle Henry, Gilbert, the Tagaro family. Thank you very much for dropping by, for always being with us here on Mark Your Day. Let's begin the show. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning. Good morning, Tito Vin. So that's what's happening in Lebanon. There was a huge explosion from a factory. They say 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate. So I hope the people in Lebanon can recover from this. Good morning, Ate Beng Wolf. I hope you're safe and sound there in Hong Kong. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. I'd like to click back to our verse earlier. There's so much anxiety around. There's so much uh, um, feeling of uncertainty because of the second round of lockdowns here in Metro Manila. But we can always look to what is good. It is time for us to spend with family. It is time for us to learn. It is time for us to rest because for many of us, we have been working all our lives. And this is exactly what we have been hoping for, to have the time to rest. Now we're having a lot of it and we, have, we worry about having too much of it. So let us not be anxious in, because who among you, sabi ng Bible, who among you by worrying can add a day to your life? Wala naman tayong magagawa. We cannot extend our lives by worrying. There's nothing we could do really because we have to obey and follow the rules. So instead of being anxious about it, let us instead be in prayer and ask God to help our frontliners also give wisdom for our leaders that they may do their jobs well and also that we would all follow the rules. Yes, follow the rules because... If we all don't follow the rules, no matter how they do all of these steps to fight the virus, if we are still out and about and exposing ourselves, whether wittingly or unwittingly, it will still make matters difficult for our leaders. So, we have a special guest today. I know you are excited because it's a Wednesday. We have our regular co-host. So let us begin with the news. There's a big, uh, there's big explosion over at, over at, Fail Health. Sad news, really. It's a, uh, it's consistent across the various uh, big dailies of our country. It's it's sad, sad that we're reading this amidst this pandemic and we're getting this amidst this pandemic. Before we read and go through all the headlines, let us first check the the report. It is a record-breaking day. 6,352 confirmed cases. 2,000 plus are in NCR, Laguna, and Cavite, and Rizal. That's technically Metro Manila and its environs producing the most number of cases so for those of you who live in these areas please be very very careful i'd like to be honest with you i live in malanday marikina and among the hot spots of covid is malanday marikina i used to run out in the street here it's a beautiful street all the way down to the river but along the river banks of marikina is a resettlement area for many of the illegal settlers before so they created a community for them along the river it's really packed right there population density in every square meter oh my goodness square kilometer in that area is one of the heaviest in the country so napakalaming tao napaka congested ng lugar na yan literal tatlo apat na hakbang nasa salas ka na ng iyong kapitbahay Kaya you would wonder how they could prevent the virus from spreading when the congestion is just so high. 
hindi ko alam kung paano nila ma-achieve yung social distancing. E talagang siksikan. Kaya we need to pray for that situation and for their bodies to be strengthened because we, it's so easy for us to say social distancing. But really, when you live in a community na napaka-congested, paano ka magso-social distancing? E talagang dikit-dikit yung mga bahay nyo. At yung sala nila, yun na rin yung kusina, yun na rin yung kanilang bedroom sa isang napakaliit na lugar. That's the reality in many of these areas that might have been affected by this virus. Kaya po tuloy-tuloy yung pag-spread nitong virus na ito in some of these areas because the congestion in these areas is just too high. Amen. So, 6,000 plus in uh, Manila, Metro Manila, Cavite, Laguna alone. So, I hope the rest of the country keep safe and healthy. Allow Metro Manila to go through this uh, ECQ again so that we can fight this virus and hopefully the f- communities will survive this. Good morning, Tita Novi Rodriguez and family. Good morning, Paul Ofiana. Good morning, Cecilia Labustro. Good morning, everyone. Let's proceed to the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Okay, ano ang nasa Inquirer? Whistleblower, 15 billion went to fill health, quote, and unquote, syndicate. Meron daw pong sindikato sa PhilHealth. Unfortunately, it is composed according to this whistleblower of its executive board members. Ito po yung mga taong nagpapatakbo mismo ng kumpanyang ito, ng PhilHealth. Ito po yung mga senior vice presidents na nag occupy ng pinaka-critical na position sa organisasyon na yan. And according to this news article, there were disbursements and questionable disbursements in that organization that have been flagged by COA and yet napakarami pa rin, hindi pa rin mapigil ang kalokohan na yan doon. Examples cited in this article are payments to this, parang meron daw pong pinapanigan, there is this fund allocated specifically to fight covid and yet, the executive board and even Morales approved the disbursement to this particular dialysis center, individual dialysis center. According to this report, wala man lang ito mga beds for COVID, mga upuan lang ito for dialysis and yet napakabilis ng releases for this particular dialysis center. Alam mo, duda ko dyan. Isa sa mga uh, opisyal dyan either kamag-anak or investor sa mga dialysis center na yan. Hindi lamang po yun yung problema, meron daw pong purchase ng Cisco computer systems, mga switchers ng Cisco, eto mga gadgets na binili dito na nagkakahalaga ng 3 million each. And if you check it, it's just 60,000 plus each. Napakalungkot naman po niyan. Ano ba naman yan? So the overpricing and the illegal disbursements in this agency is just so horrible. So yun po ang iniimbestigahan ngayon ng ating Senado. Yan po ang iniimbestigahan ng ating Commission on Audit. Buti na lang at merong whistleblower, former fraud investigator mismo ng PhilHealth who resigned recently, who is now the main resource person of the Senate for the investigation concerning the syndicate's alleged corruption within this state firm that is supposedly there to help make sure that we will have insurance for our health needs in case we all get sick, particularly for our lower income class families. So, napakalungkot po niyang balitang yan. Let us proceed to what's in the news for the Manila Standard. The Manila Standard Phil Health Collapse Feared. According to this news article, this is still on that particular uh, news, but 
I will take it from a different angle according to this news yung buhay daw ng PhilHealth kasi they're managing the funds for collection from the government from all its members we all have to pay PhilHealth whether you're prob- public or private employee possibly daw hanggang 2022 lamang yan dahil nga ang COVID daw has allowed it or made it spend much of its resources the initial study the actuarial study pegs it at 10 years mabubuhay pa yung pondo niya for another 10 years running by itself alone under this current situation pero according to that news article baka hanggang 2 years na lang but according to this news article as well senator recto questions that saying that you still have reserve funds But still, PhilHealth believes that this is um, going to be a problem if they don't, if COVID persists. And of course, if we all know, if people who stole from the coffers of this very important government agency will not be held accountable for that. Also, in this article, Secretary Roque, who's one of the authors of the... Uh, Universal Health Law mentions that the source of funds for field health under the Universal Health Law will really not just be coming from the collections from their members or the payments that we give field health, but will come from many other alternative sources or many sources that the government will have to create. So that's the headline coming from the Philippine or for the Manila Standard. Headline this time from the Philippine Star. Ganun din po, PhilHealth Mafia pocketed 15 billion from just by the way 2019. It contains almost the same uh, details uh, coming from that news article from the Inquirer. So let me just say a few thoughts about this uh, situation. The problem with field health involves that mafia there, the staff there, as well as the unscrupulous and corrupt hospitals and doctors nationwide. Or at least or some of the unscrupulous or some of the doctors who happen to be corrupt, not all doctors. Let me just make that very very clear. According to this news article, there have been fake claims, fake COVID patients. Can you believe that? People who were stabbed, people who were there for different reasons were listed under COVID cases and claims were made by these hospitals from PhilHealth. So PhilHealth had to pay up these hospitals for these claims that are actually non-COVID cases. Napakalungkot. Hindi lamang yun. Faith dialysis patients. Faith Fake eye patients. Fake, 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 fake. And according to the whistleblower, without the complicity of the people within PhilHealth, hindi naman mangyayari yun. Without the involvement of the hospitals, hindi naman lalabas yung pera. Without the doctors signing to these illegal transactions, hindi naman mangyayari yun. So to my mind, where is the corruption here? It's not just the people in PhilHealth. It also involves the corrupt hospitals and corrupt doctors. It's entire system and culture of corruption that's unfortunately ailing our medical sector. Maraming yumaman dyan, hindi lang taga PhilHealth. Pati po mga doktor, pati po mga ilang mga hospital. Very sad. But, what's the good that I see in this? I always try to see the good in things. And this expose now is one thing that's good. And I hope they, the, the urgency of the situation now with COVID 
will allow for them to be serious about this problem with PhilHealth because this problem with PhilHealth has actually existed for decades. This has existed since the time of many, many presidents and it has carried through all these various presidents and par- none of them have been able to put a stop to this. So I hope this particular COVID pandemic will give urgency to our leaders, will give urgency to the investigating bodies to really follow through in fixing the problem with PhilHealth. (coughs) If Duterte can do this, and I hope he can, although he's running out of time, it will be one of his legacies. But if just like other presidents, he's unable to do this, who will? It can stop at the level of field health, but it can also stop in the level of the hospitals. It can also stop in the level of the doctors. So the work is in the hearts of all of these people involved. The solution is not so easy. Because even if, the, even if you try to fix field health within If there are still hospitals who will fake reports, who will fake claims, the organization will still bleed. Much more if you have insiders in cahoots or working with the corrupt people from outside, thereby causing a lot of bleeding in this organization. Okay? So there's good that can come out of this. Sana ngayong pandemic, talagang matuldukan na nila to. Sana ngayong pandemic, magawa nila ng solusyon ito. Kasi sinubukan ito ng napakarami ng panahon. Hindi masolusyonan. Sana masolusyonan ngayon. Another thing that I see that's good in this situation is this. If PhilHealth is that bulok, if the system is that broken, if the system is that prone to corruption, you know what's really good? Buti na lang, hindi pa na-implement ang universal health care law. Buti na lang, hindi pa matuloy-tuloy yung pag-implement ng bagong UHC. Kasi that universal health care law will plug in billions upon billions more of funds into PhilHealth not just coming from the collections, it will make PhilHealth a really huge and financially big organization. And if they stay corrupt, while we're already implementing the universal health care law, mas malaking dagok. So, what is this that I see? This is an opportunity to start anew for PhilHealth. Clean up that place jail everyone that needs to be jailed and then implement the new system under the universal health care law alam na alam yun ni kuya michael luna nag type yan na maganda umaga kuya mike remember we did the forum on the universal health care law ang worry do na mga doktor na we consulted under those mga mga symposium that we can help conduct with the philippine medical association that the Philipp- the universal health care law will give it so much money and so much power and so much finances that if people don't run phil health well under that new law it will be doom for the philippines so what is the good in this let's fix phil health rid it of all of this of the cancer that's inside it Convince the doctors to do it well and then let us implement the universal health care law under fresh, a fresh system, a fresh culture that hopefully will not be as prone to corruption as we have today. So while there is good, there is bad. While there is bad, there is a silver lining there. There is good there. There is hope there. But I hope our leaders can do their jobs well. From the regional directors to our senators now who are investigated, to ombudsman, and to all the prosecutors, it will be in their hands. It will be in their hands. If the prosecutors become corrupt, mabayaran nito mga taong to, makakalusot na naman to mga to. So it involves the whole roster of people who needs to commit to fight this. But again, 
I am thankful that they are discovering this now. Put a stop to this now before we implement the universal health care law. There's always good. There's always good that can come out of things. I believe that. I believe that. Good can turn into bad in the future. It can be spun into the good. Even while we're going through. So don't be anxious about anything. In prayer and petition, make your requests be known to God. 8.25. 8.26. In a few ticks of the second. 8.26. We will be joined by our dear special guest today. We will be talking about what will you do if you face disappointments in life? Have you been disappointed? We have gone through several disappointments in our lives. But what we do with those disappointments can lead us to better days. Right? So what do we do when we face disappointments? That's what we will be talking about with our special guest in What's Tra- Please welcome our dear special guest today, my friends. Please welcome my dearest and my favorite person in all the universe. Please welcome my dearly beloved Trisha Feliciano Castrodes. Good morning, Trisha. Good morning, my dear. Welcome to Mark Your Day. <laughs> Palapakan niyo naman si Trisha. Ayan na po yung ako yung pinakamamahal. Uurong po ako ng konti. Okay. Nakat po ng Mark Your Day yung aking ulo. Uurong daw po ako ng konti. <laughs> Good morning. Uy, relate sa topic. Good morning, Tita Mitzi Lazaro. Good morning to everyone. Have we, sh- have we shared this to our private page? Before we begin, kiss muna ako. Good morning, everybody again. Okay. And how are you, Trisha? I'm I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful today. Thank you. Um, kaya na kaya pinili ko yung verse. Do not be anxious, but we pray. Na lang, no? Yeah, that's why I need you in my life, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ako po, I always I I parang I I'm weird because I see the positive in many things. Yeah, which is good and something that I need. <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of people gusto rin yung naririnig. And kailangan talaga ng mga taong... Iba-iba naman tayo ng roles in yes, life, di ba? Yes, yes, So, tuloy mo lang yan. Padayon, <laughs> dong. Dong. <laughs> Padayon daw sa aking mm. pagiging positive yes. na even if nakakaw na, na, na sa field health, meron pa rin ako nakikitang somehow na mabuting pangyayari. No, but I agree with that one. Super. Yeah, dapat talaga bago... Bago ma-implement. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Kasi kung uh, na-implement na yung universal health law, can you imagine? Can you imagine pag na-implement na yung universal health law? Yeah. Sobra terrible yun, Trisha. Ayan na, iurong natin ng konti. Ayun, lumaki na yung ating screen ng konti. Mm-mm. Okay, so anong balita sa negosyo, Trisha? MECQ again. So, um, we had to let the bakers rest again <coughs> because um, the numbers are going up and um diba lagi naman natin eh, from the very beginning ang sabi natin let's just survive this season alive and mm-hmm. well because yun talaga yung mahirap meaning uh, bayarin money uh, bills those parang feeling ko as long as we're healthy as long as we can still work yeah. and as long as malakas walang sakit hindi kaya siyang malampasan. It's yes. just a matter of um, days or months or hopefully not years. But oh, oh. kaya siya. But um, yun, basta... So let's just survive. <laughs> <laughs> Totoo, let us survive because if we if we give up and if we if we just lose hope, paano na? Diba? Paano na tayo? So, yeah, have you the, faced disappointments in your life? Domi. Mag-hi ka muna sa ating friends. Hello. Itong mamang to. Hi, Kuya Randy. Hi, Tito Pilot. 
Ayan din si... Hello, my best friend, Christy! <laughs> Kinukulit ko siya kanina bago. So, kumunod ka, kumunod ka. <laughs> Good morning, Hello. Tita Christy. Ah, okay. Marami nang nag-start na mga schools nung Monday, I think. Mm. So, mm. private schools, nag-start na sila. So, I pray that the kids are nakaplastar, naka-ready, naka uh, maayos yung kanilang, I'm sure there may mga adjustments, pero mas actually, pinagpipray ko din yung mga nanay tsaka yung mga tatay na nag-monitor <coughs> or nagsusupervise because it's not easy. Like, mm. ang dami nating mga iniisip ngayon, ang yeah. dami nating concerns, pero tapos dadagdag na yung dati, di ba? Baunan mo lang sila, punta na, sunduin sila ng service mm. or ng driver, hatid na sila, tapos na, and then babalik ngayon, pa sila. Ngayon, walang tigil. Ngayon, no. nandyan sila, and <laughs> parang we're not all sure of how effective yung systems yeah. na, syempre, lahat nanganga pa, even the teachers, yeah. I'm sure they did, they're trying their best, but, Ah, tulong-tulong lang talaga Correct. lahat. Kaya, posibleng merong disappointments. Kaya, we chose this topic today on how to deal with disappointments because whatever plans we have, there might be disappointments in life and in business, in our parenting, mm-hmm. merong disappointments. Have you had disappointments in your life? Marami nga. <laughs> marami? Talaga? <laughs> uh, yeah, marami. Siyempre, kahit na simula pa nung yung bata ka pa oo so today we'll share with you five things that we believe are important to somehow manage the many disappointments that we could face in our lives right so unahin natin sa ano po ang ating mga tips on how to manage disappointments the first one that i believe is important to manage disappointments i manage your expectations yes Sige, yes. Trisha, tell us about how to ma- how do you manage your expectations? Uh, kasi ba diba, yung disappointment, bakit ka ba madi-disappoint? Because you expected something or you, nag- umaasa ka sa isang bagay na hindi nangyari. Yeah. Kaya ka lang naman madi-disappoint because of yeah. that. Pero if you've managed your expectations from the very beginning, the little things or the little victories yeah. makikita mo kaagad That's na parang right. ma-enjoy mo yung mga maliliit na mga developments mm-hmm. or positive na mga nangyayari um, so yon like for example um, meron kang project or merong bagong ano ba meron kang bagong uh, project um, we would parang walang dapat-dapat. Ito, uh, ito, dapat in one year, kumita ako ng ganitong karami. <laughs> <laughs> Naku ba, disappoint ka talaga yan. <laughs> Meron tayong goals, mm. pero bang, alam mo yung, anong difference ng goals sa expectations? Mm. Yung, okay, ikaw na mag-explain. Yung goal mo kasi, yun yung iyong, yung iyong, iyong target. Pero pag ini-expect mo na yan, ibig sabihin, parang kumbinsido ka na na dapat mangyari yun. Dapat mangyari yun. So, yung goals mo is not something that is sure. But when you have expectations, yun yung mahirap. Kaya I want to distinguish between yung being expectant and having expectations. Dalawang words po yun. Yung being expectant is your, you have an attitude na you're hoping, you are waiting, you are positive, you're hopeful, you're praying, but you're not really expecting. So, malaking diferensya po yung expectant sa expectations or expecting. Example, e- meron kang ina-applyan. Yeah. Okay. So, di ba, nabitin tayo from the last um, week na mga government uh, programs or loans or whatever. So, mag-apply ka. Um, you're applying. Um, in, your, in our hearts, we are parang expecting we have we parang expectant ang heart namin na sana may mangyari sana may map sana mm. ganon sana but we are not expecting na bibigay nila yan talaga ibibigay nila yan ng ganitong time ng ganitong halaga, halaga. Or... kasi um, mas madali kaming madi-disappoint if That's we right. put that that's right. Inside our hearts. So remember ha, the term be expectant because when you're expectant, you will have the joy while you're waiting. While you're waiting. What I like about Trisha is magaling siyang magantay. 
she's a, she's a she's a patient person. It's while well, I'm a positive person, what I I am very impatient. I'm positive, that's why I'm impatient. Mm. But Trish is very patient. So that's why kung expectant ka and you're patient, you will be joyful even while you're waiting. I think ito din yung nakakatulong sa amin na hindi kami na hindi kami nag um, nag hold back to just apply and just cast our nets everywhere. Kasi hindi kami takot na ma-disappoint. ma-disappoint. Uh-huh. Hindi kami takot. Parang okay, if it happens, it happens. If it hindi bigay, it hindi. Then sa sus- iba naman, uh, uh-huh. let's cast our nets to the other side. So parang ganun. Parang from the beginning, yun talaga yung naging ano natin, na na-practice natin. Sa so, tingin ko, Trish, it's also yung itong pag- having so much expectation, posibleng it can also be a product of parenting. Yung parents mo ba maraming expectation sa'yo? Na, wala. Oo. Mm, wala. Ako even din. Academics, <laughs> even sa academics talagang hindi nila ako sinabihan na, oy, mag ganito ka, mag-honor ka, whatever, whatever. Wala. Ano lang, grade conscious lang talaga ako mag so, ako. <laughs> <laughs> so, lumaki siya na walang expectation Uh-oh. yung magulang niya, so sa kanya lang. Ako din, wala masyadong expectations yung magulang ko sa akin. They encouraged me. In fact, iba pa nga yung approach ng nanay ko eh. Parang reverse psychology. Oh, huwag ka na sumali dyan. Hindi ka naman siguro Ay, mananalo na. Ay, ganyan din na mami ko. Oh. Wala siya. Oh, as in. Tapos hindi siya pumupunta sa eskwelahan. As in. Oh, sige. Fine. Eh, alam naman niya na siguro yun yung gusto ko oh. sa sarili ko. Kaya hindi na niya ako kailangan. So, careful push. din tayo as parents when we communicate with our children because when we plant in their brains na parang expect, 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 expect it will be a burden for them as they grow up. Pero kung medyo, siguro, mas matataas yung grado namin. Kung kum laude si Trisha, baka mas naging sumako. <laughs> <laughs> Pero alam mo yun, it can be a burden. So, instead of developing them to expect, expect, th- develop in them an expectant heart, a prayerful heart that will make them happier while they're waiting. Okay. Hi Delsa. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, sino pang nandito? Agree, all positive. Mm-hmm. That's nice. So manage our expectations. The key term is be expectant but don't mm-hmm. expect. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. okay. Pero paano pag nangyari na talaga yung mga hindi magandang situation Trisha? O tsaka tao lang talaga namang mafi-feel mo yung disappointment kahit na may expectant heart ka uh, meron uh. pa rin mafi-feel So anong gagawin mo? mo? Point number two mm. Be cerebral mm. hindi maging emotional uh. <laughs> uh, Sige nga Oo oh, um, Well syempre kapag nangyari na yung disappointment, meron tao ka lang naman, no? Mm. Pwede naman talagang may outlet ka, mag-express ka, umiyak ka, mag, uh, you ask somebody for a hug or something like that. Mm. Parang, labas mo lang. Mm. But, wag ka nang, wag mo nang patagalin. Uh, don't, don't, dwell. Wa- don't, don't, dwell, don't dwell. Don't dwell. Don't wallow in it. Oo, wag kang magpakain Uh-oh. dun sa feelings mo. Oo. So, yung pagiging cerebral is, Instead of feeling it, think about it. What can be done? Ano yung pwedeng mangyari? So, yun kasi, life naman talaga sa ups and downs, di ba? Yeah, oh. And I think, ano ah, ito yung number two is a very um, big, uh, it's an important factor na kailangan ng isang entrepreneur. Uh-huh. Going, uh, if, you, if we talk about business. Kasi in, in, in a business talagang maraming ups and downs and downs and ups and downs and downs and downs. Yes. So, pero, if you're cerebral about it, okay, this happened. What's next? Um, how, pa, yung, yeah. yun na importante, paano tayo aalis dito? How do we move on from here? Um, but Tita, Tita Sarah says, it's hard to be cerebral sometimes. Yes, Tita that's Sarah. That's true. That's true. You know what? what let's share what we do. We, what we do, Tita Sarah, when, when, when it's difficult to be cerebral is to write things down. We, we have a meeting and we try to write things down. So, diba, you can project your feelings onto a piece of paper or on a whiteboard. So, when you, you can see it, it 
it pro- the, your brain begins to process it so it gets bottled up inside us kung kung talagang hindi tayo nakikipag-usap or hindi natin siya sinusulat so when you when you write things down as an issue it, it really helps us be objective about the situation so si kami ni Trisha, we we go through the figures we go through the details we go through the steps kasi hindi siya pwedeng kinikimkim mo lang siya dito hindi mo siya kinikimkim dito and another tip that i that we also observe and we we consult experts yeah. we've always been consulting experts because the experts will always tell you okay lang yan ganyan talaga yan they will always give you a good objective view of the situation so there's Ate Admari we've consulted there's Don Shanko that we've consulted there's Dave and Junver that we've Ram consulted Jay. and Ramjay that we've consulted that's why we always have consultants who don't work with us because they help us to be cerebral correct ma'am? oo ano to? <laughs> huh? meron may influence yung Itai one class dito sa discussion natin <laughs> oh meron meron <laughs> Yeah, we Kasi just, you, we just, just finished Itay One oh, class. Oh, so. di ba yung sa Itay One class, you had the entrepreneur, mm-hmm. you had a good manager, and you had a very good financial consultant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung dynamics nila na parang, grabe, kinopia nila kami talaga. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun yun po aming one. So, I'm usually the entrepreneur. I'm the entrepreneur. Trisha manages things, and we always have friends around who act as our consultants hindi who kami nahihiyang magtanong hindi mm. kami nahihiyang magtanong pero yun yun nga yung being cerebral about it um tutulungan mo yung sarili mo to get out of that um very sad moment mm. um it might not be easy ask help if you need pero wag mo na lang basta wag mong patagalin because it's not gonna help you it's yeah. not gonna help anyone so it's gonna it's not gonna help you so as ma- as soon as you can take yourself out of it and think strategize yeah. move on which leads to point number three which is really to learn from our mistakes and move on so yun po yung pangatlo so as we realize our mistakes and we have made we've made a lot oh, of Allah. <laughs> mm. sobra PhD na kami double degree <laughs> sa pagninegosyo sa Harvard ganon ganon kamahal <laughs> so marami ng mistakes but it's important not to to cry over spilled milk so to speak yeah. or to to just wallow in in despair kasi wala nangyari na yung nangyari eh di ba a good leader is a good thing and everything has oh yes so don't don't wallow and people around consultants can help us talagang mm-hmm. see the lessons and move move yeah. forward and don't be too hard on yourself kasi these are you're a person things happen these mm-hmm. are just things in life uh-huh. and um it will always be a testimony or a story to tell yes and kami we we agreed na wala nang if it happened wala nang sumbatan, wala nang singilan. Ah, wala na yan. Oh, wala na yan. Oh. Wala nang singilan, wala nang... Wala. Uh-oh. Diba? Yeah. So, hindi na magbibilangan kung, oh, ikaw yon you ah, lost well, this month. Well, sometimes we talk about it, kwento, pero nata- pinagtatawa, pinagtatawa na na namin. Pinagtatawa na namin. Alam mo yung palkapalpakan mo nun, pero hindi kami <laughs> nag-aaway. Alam mo yun? Uh-oh. Alam mo yung kapalpakan mo nun yung mga ganitong panahon. Yeah. Or, But in don't... that kind of, ano na, in that manner. Na, meron naman talagang mga mali eh. Maraming na-double Uh-oh. book yung ticket. Na... <laughs> Ito naman sabi niya, walang ungkatan, pero naaalala niya masyado, <laughs> diba? Mm-hmm. So, Vic, pero hindi na siya, you don't use it as a weapon against each yeah, other. Uh-huh. But those are learning learning situations, learning opportunities. So, number one, manage your expectations. Two, be cerebral. Write things down. Consult your friends who can help you be uh, objective. Learn from your mistakes and move on. Don't dwell on it anymore. Wala nang simbatan, wala nang singilan. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. It's not gonna help. Well, um, siguro yung memory of the thing is for you to learn or remember the mistake so that you can yes. improve on it. Yes. That's it. Pero yun lang yung purpose niya. Hindi siya para Hindi siya to para bring to down, to bring a person, down the person. Or, yeah. or to make the person feel bad. Diba? Yep. Number four. Number four. Number four. Value people and relationships above all. Yeah. 
Oo. So, ay, nako. Ay, yeah, value people are ratio above all. Kasi itong si Mark, palagi ko siyang naririnig na people makes, make mistakes. People make mistakes. Parang, sa, parang lalo na ng, ngayong ECQ na to, siguro parang ilang beses ko na talaga siya narinig. Sabi ko, in one week, parang limang beses ko na narinig sa'yo yan. Mm. How? <laughs> ay, kasi ako yung mas madaling maapektuhan ng mga palpak. Uh, <laughs> ng mga pag may, may palpak na nangyayari. So, parang naiinis ako, no? Uh, uh, uh. But, importante mm. din naman yun. So, we can improve our systems, improve our organization. Pero, as much as we could, when it's really just between money and people, um, we always value people. Always try to value people because kung merong nasira, merong nabasag, merong yeah. nawala, merong gano, may maraming ganun eh. <laughs> oh, oh, or merong for example you went to a restaurant maling in order hindi masarap you went to you know you 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 chose a hotel hindi maganda yeah. should I beat her up because of this choice mm-hmm. should she beat me up because of this alam mo yun yeah oh, oh. one time one summer um, nagbook nagpunta kami sa Subic for um, a, a weekend uh, hmm. a long weekend tapos pagpunta namin sa I, I, I'm always in charge of bookings and all this <laughs> ano all these things no yung mga sa hotels and um, airlines so pagdating namin sa front desk oh, excited na kami lahat they then mag-check in kami sabi ng front desk hi ma'am good morning oh it's so nice to see you kahapon pa po namin kayo in-expect <laughs> kahapon hi Kahapon pa pala yung booking natin ba? <laughs> Nakalimutan ko yung date. So, so we missed ganun. one night. No, sayang ganun. yung one night namin. May mga so, ganun. So hindi naman niya ako sinumbat. Never, so nice. never, never, never. <laughs> kasi really so kung nice. one day or food or whatever na ba? <laughs> kasi it will just, <laughs> di ba? Pero minsan kasi talaga may mga lapses na actually dati hindi naman ako ganyan. Pero itong lately, tapos meron pang isang beses. We, nag, meron kaming marathon. <laughs> marathon. In, ano, may marathon kami Moa. sa Moa. Mm. Tapos nag, like usually when we ano, join marathons, nag-check in kami sa hotel near the starting line so that we just have to walk mm. to the starting line. Tapos <laughs> pag-check in namin, sabi yung front desk, Ay ma'am, you booked two rooms <laughs> at the same day, at the same, at the same dates. So ko, ha? Yeah, yung pala yung isa nasa Agoda, yung isa nasa booking.com. <laughs> kasi mahilig ako dati na, ah, bubuk ko lang, bubuk ko lang kasi ka-cancel ko kasi free cancellation. So nakalimutan ko siya i-cancel. <laughs> oh man. Pero nga, again, aawayin ko ba siya doon? Disappointment yon. <laughs> Yes, but you know, people are more important and relationships are more important than a hotel room, than a wrong, you know, mga ganun, mga bagay. <laughs> yeah. 'Di ba meron mga tayong naririnig kwan lang 'yan, non-living things. Yeah, oh, mm. si Soy yun. Like actually si Soy like ko naririnig yung sister niya always saying, ah, um, may, may nabasag, lala na yung mga kids, ganyan. Tit, mami, trek, non-living thing, non-living thing. Okay, fine, fine. Pero minsan, yung mga <laughs> non-living. Pag mahal, pag mahal. Okay, non-living thing, non-living thing. But still, if it is important to correct the child mm. or to correct the employee, you correct still. Hindi ko ibig sabihin na hindi mo i- i- a-address yung yeah. problema. Hindi ibig sabihin na hindi mo i-correct yung tao. Pero hindi mo ito gagamitin bala. Yeah. Eh ako pa naman pag nainis ako. Hmm. Hmm. Tapos sasabihin ko sasabihin na naman niya. Ganda ganda kasi. Why are you so nice? <laughs> Pero still, oh meron so I nice. I also I also fire people if they feel that they're not fit for the organization because they might be fit for another organization and another person might be better for our organization. So yun. Yeah. It's still about people. That's why I told you I need you. <laughs> I need you in my life. Yon, kasi yon value people and relationships. Yeah. Lalo na sa couples. Tapos kasi madaling ma-inis, madali kang ma ma-depress, ma- maging anxious kung Uh-oh. kung puro bagay or pera ang iniisip. Yeah. Yes. All right. Last but not the least. Last but not the least. How do you manage expectation or disappointments? Believe that God is in control always. Kasi, kung meron kang disappointments because of things beyond your control, kagaya nitong COVID, napakalaki sana ng mga plano natin oh, for this year. Oh my goodness, yeah. As in, in the first, the first 
Sam, uh, the first quarter, quarter of the year, I was working on a project. As in, sabi ko, Lord, ito na talaga, breakthrough year ng cookie sticks. Ng, ng Arite Arite, Foods. Ng Arite mm. Foods. Actually, not cookie sticks. It's a breakthrough year where, where um, tatlong buwan kong pinaghirapan. At, um, kasi when you pitch for a project, di ba, you make samples, you um, forward, backward, as in, balik ng balik yan hanggang mm. sa ma-perfect mo. Mm-hmm. Until you reach the right na the right product that na magiging pasado don sa client mm. we have a big project um so na, exciting sana so na. exciting uh, malapit ng actually actually na close na eh close na close na siya oh order eh. na lang oh order na lang eh i was looking for a warehouse already warehouse that's how big it is tita mitsi alam na alam mo nag, nagtatanong ako sa iyo about a warehouse Nag- naghahanap ako ng service, naghahanap ako ng taos, ng mga tao iha-hire, naghahanap We're ako We're talking ng, about a factory already, building a, a new oh, oh. plant. And I am um, thinking of as in million, sabi ko, shocks, mabibili ko na talaga ng magandang relo yung asawa ko. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, pero what I, mababayaran na namin lahat ng utang namin, as in, ganon. I, the last sample was approved first week of March. Sabi nila sa akin. Hindi, ang backtrack tayo. Ang what's weird about this, we were seeing the hand of God throughout this experience. Yeah. We did not ask for it. It just came. Yeah. The confluence of the events. Yung bang almost serendipitous. Talaga, we were seeing that it was the Lord's plan that this could happen. Yes, kasi talagang hindi namin siya hinanap. Hindi namin siya sinik. Basta nag, meron lang nag-inquire. There's an inquiry. Tapos ang laki. Tapos tuloy-tuloy. Tapos it turn out ng mga taga Marikina din. So, yeah. Eh, ano na nga, nire-ready ko na nga yung story ko na ganyan eh. Oh. <laughs> Kasi sabi ko, oh, excited na ako to oh, tell uh-huh. this story because it's so exciting. Because it's the Lord's hand in all. And then, COVID happens. So, uh, yung lahat nung mga, lahat, lahat nung pinaghirapan namin, me and the team, product dev team, and um, lahat. Finance. Pin- uh, lahat, uh, lahat. Wala. As in, back, to zero. <laughs> back to zero. Back so, to zero. So, ngayon, looking at our business, it looks like we're back to 2012. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And it's just nice that we're still open. Yeah. To some, we are, yeah. <laughs> yes, surviving. But, it's a disappointment. But how do you see that? COVID is beyond our control. But God is always in control. Yes. So, we know that the Lord has better plans. Um, hindi niya yun inalaw na mangyari. Probably to save us from a yeah. lot of things. Mm. We mm. don't know. We don't know. But um, because it never... it We did not expect anything from it. We did not expect that um, makakakuha kami ng ganong project. So, we look at it that way. Mm. Now, oh my goodness, what if? Ito pa, we also look at it like, what if na-order ko na lahat ng mga gamit, gamit for what that? What if bumili na tayo ng makina? What if bumili mm. na kami na What if nag-sign ako ng contract for the rental of the warehouse? Mm. So, yes. Always, so, marunong ka nang tumingin sa good in things, no? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. So, kasi mapapagod ka if uh-oh. you don't. Mm-mm. You it will just pull you down. And yes. That's the only thing I think that's one thing we need to survive this. Mm. We yeah. I I keep telling Deba you guys na this is like a marathon that we I cannot still see the end the the finish line. Yeah. It's like on my I'm on my if it's a marathon it's a 42 kilometer run. I'm on my 20th kilometer already i'm running out of my yeah. goo that's the gel that the energy goo Uh-oh. i'm running out of you water. had that experience oh right? my goodness in taiwan <laughs> that my last my 42 at 42 experience mm. this is actually na ko siya. um there's a time limit somebody i feel somebody's gonna sweep me from my back i always look at my Uh-oh. back na parang, oh my gosh and na ba, na ba? that's how i'm feeling right now but uh you need to pace. Mm. Conserve the energy. Conserve whatever gel, mm. energy gel that you have uh-uh. in your pocket. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. Every pace. single drop counts. Every Ngayon single drop counts. To just believe that 
there will be a finish line. Yes. In some way or form, and you will get there, and you yeah. will be okay. Whatever in whatever form you will be as as you cross that finish yes. line, just be alive oh. and <laughs> and well. Ito yung pagcross yun ng finish line talagang iyak. But yeah. still, she finished under six hours. She ran very, very well. She ran fast. Object. She went through difficulty, but <laughs> objectively speaking, okay, ayon yung niwala sa akin. It was actually an excellent run because the Lord is in control. Yeah. He will give you strength beyond what you imagine, and He will allow you to see things that you never thought you would see. Yeah, and um, yeah, I'm very thankful that I was able to experience that. Imagine, matatapos na yung 20... Mag-birthday na ako sa September, 43 na ako nun. Tapos na yung 42 at 42 ko. At nakadalawang full marathon oh, ka. Hindi ko na Dalawa siya magagawa ba? kasi Tatlo. ayaw ko naman ng 42 at 43, diba? <laughs> Three full marathons in one year. Yeah, oo. Uh-uh. Yes, she ran no, three no, in, in your birth year. No? Uh, yes, in, plus. Yeah, yeah. parang ganon. I, um, a, year a year and six so months. A year and six months. So there, my friends, we are all having difficulty whether the disappointment is because of our mistakes or the mistakes of people around us or the disappointments are because of things that are beyond our control. The Lord is always good and He is sovereign and He will yeah. take care of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the past few days, I've been feeling um, uh, negative feelings and... Hate and inis. Uh, <laughs> Siguro, I don't know if it's my hormones or the news or the things that are happening mm. and then MCQ and then the press cons and the whatever. So, yeah, I think I should, I know, and it's bringing me down and it's not helping. So, mm. yeah. That's why I've been kahapon to mga basta hindi ko siya hindi ko siya tinigilan. <laughs> Sorry ko. Uh-oh. Why are you so positive? <laughs> But, okay, fine. Marami naman ang nag-comment. Marami naman ang nag-negative. Okay, sila na yon. Marami na. Marami nang gumagawa nun. So, sige. Let's be positive. Mm. Okay? Yes. O, oh, yan ha. Live. <laughs> Naririnig yun. Ako yun Online. talaga. Ako, sige. Kasi, um, what's parang making me trust the Lord even during this difficult time because I look back from where I came from and I see The Lord is good, and He will make us survive this. Love you. <laughs> okay, let's read our final verse. Let's read our final verse. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Okay, that's mark your day, my friends. See you all again Friday. We love you all. Bye-bye.